Welcome along, guys. Welcome back Welcome to the garage. Welcome, Welcome to episode five of the. Is it six? Five of the ultimate SMCR build. In this episode, I will finally be installing the cum pan. I don't understand what is a cum pan. I, I don't know what it is. It's some sort of dashboard assistant, maybe. I will be installing the cum pan cockpit assistant finally. I'm also going to be doing some other bits and bobs in this video. And there's going to be some montages in this video. So sit back, relax. Let's roll the intro. Before we get too heavily involved with the technical stuff, not that this is particularly technical, I must say a massive thank you to the person who contacted me on Instagram. And last time when I did the exhaust, if you remember, the arrow and the Tecmo header, where you mount the arrow pipe to the header, there's meant to be a gasket which goes into there. I didn't have the gasket, I sold it with my Akropovich, so I was short of the gasket, so I didn't show that on the video. I've since ordered the gasket, but I was missing a gasket on the rear. You need to have that gasket. Someone sent me some pictures of their 690 whereby they didn't put the gasket in so it was blowing around that joint and it actually melted their petrol tank and they were leaking fuel because they'd melted through their petrol tank at the back so you must fit that uh, gasket in between the two systems where they mount between the header and the tail pipe you must put the gasket in i've now ordered it thanks for pointing that out i point out to everyone in case they followed that video and are about to melt their fuel tanks don't do it Oopsie daisy. So today, finally, the Cumpan cockpit assistant will be fitted from Barotech. I think basically, mate, I think we just crack on with this, Mavis. Shall we just get started? So first thing you have to do with the dashboard assistant is find, take your cowl off, obviously, and find the accessory wires here. This is how it gets its power. So here is the cockpit assistant. There it is. This is going to mount on the handlebars up here. This is the wiring. First of all, we've got a couple of connectors on here. It's fairly simple. These ones go behind the cowl. The other two ends, that goes to the temperature sensor. And this one goes to the crank position sensor to give revs to the unit. The module will mount like that when we're finished. So this wiring has to now feed down here into the front cowl. I'm just gonna loosen one of the bolts which holds this plastic piece on to give me a bit more room feed things down. Feed it all through slowly. So the unit's going to mount about there. Beautiful. The unit comes with a little mounting clip. Well, I think it's an accessory actually. You can just stick the unit down here like that or you can get the little mounting accessory that goes around the bottom of the bar and then the unit mounts there. That looks much neater doesn't it? That's going to look lovely. So the instructions say red and black wire, which is this one, connects to the red wire from the cockpit assistant. You get loads of protection on these, there's too much. As I've got a bit of sleeving on this as well, I'm gonna have to cut some of that off to be able to get this on. I'll probably do it, try and slip that inside of there. And then push the connectors together. Get on. Now when we turn that on now, because we're connected into the ignition, we should have power. Oh yeah, look at that. Mavis, bend over. Yes, I would be up for that. So this is the connectors which have to go to the bike. One of these is the crank um, pickup, which is the white one. The other one is the temperature sensor. Now there's a couple of different options as to where you can mount that temperature sensor, depending on the model of your 701 or 690. Um, if you've got a, a between a 17 and 19 bike, you've got a few additional options. Mine's a 2020, I'm a bit limited. I can either go water cooling by going down by the uh, water pump or I can go oil temperature by going in down by the um, cam chain 
adjuster. Let me zoom in, show you. So unfortunately, I've had to take off the exhaust again. <laughs> I do like making work for myself, but the good news is I had to take it off anyway. I had a little bit of blowing around here. I've got some uh, sealant I'm gonna put in here. And also I was missing the gasket in the rear of the exhaust, as I mentioned. So it has to come off anyway, a bit annoying. I hate going back and doing other jobs, but there we go. This is actually particularly difficult to show on camera, but that there is the cam tensioner. And there's a little blanking plug in the end of the cam tensioner, which you can take out and replace with the uh, cockpit assistant temperature sensor. It wouldn't be a CHOPS project if the wood chisel didn't come out. Impact drivers, the best tool you never knew you didn't need. I love this thing. That doesn't make any sense. So that is the temperature probe, which is going to go into the cam tensioner bung. There's like a bung at the end. And then of course that's going to get oil splashed on it. That's going to give a temperature of the overall engine. On the 17 to 19 bikes, it seems there's a much more accessible um, place to connect here, but it's slightly redesigned on the 2020. There's like another bolt here which you can connect into. That's gone on the 2020. So the only real option if you want oil on the 2020 is the cam sensor. It's not very tight, thankfully, so you can go in a bit of an angle. Drop it, Chopsy! Drop it, Chopsy! It's absolutely pissing oil out. <laughs> ah! Ah! That's what I've taken out. Let's bang it with a new one before I lose all my oil. There it is. Can you just about see it? That is the connector which is on the end of the cam chain tensioner now. Properly massage this in because. It's important you get right to the edges. You don't want any areas without any oil on. You also need to get some oil around the seal here as well. The other connection which has to be done because the cockpit assistant needs to know what rev the bike's doing, it has to hook in to the crank position sensor. Because I've got the power commander, I've already looped into this connector with the power commander. Now what the dashboard assistant comes with is another loop. Now I did think about cutting into this and soldering in another connection for the dashboard assistant but I think I'm just going to add another piggyback and then just tuck all this away and zip tie it in. So what we have to do now is take the temperature sensor wire, feed that up here and connect these both onto the dashboard assistant wiring. I've routed the wires around the right hand side of the bike around here because that's where the main loom comes through. So I can zip tie that to the main loom. So that's all together the wiring. Now this only goes one way, there's a little lug built into it. And I imagine you have to be a little bit careful here because you could probably, there's two little prongs in there which you could probably break if you're not very careful. Connect the crank on. Hmm, maybe. And that is it, that is complete. Just a case of making this neat and tidy now. Try and get it neat and tidy. Hose could be an issue to sit on that at the right angle. Oh. 
Installation done. Let's power her up. I think time for a custom brake line. I'm going to do it. I'm going to use that. I'm going to have a custom brake line. This caliper is not a mono block. It's actually two pieces joined together. You can see the joint here. You know, this, this isn't a mono block caliper. So the new 2021 690 has a mono block caliper and I don't think these are meant to be that good. So I'm going to upgrade it to the M4 caliper, but I think it means I'm going to have to get a custom line made from the ABS unit and get an angled off, you know, a 90 degree bend on that. So I'm going to drain the line, take this one off and then see if I can get a custom, probably have to send it off and see if I can get a custom front brake line made up. A lot of trouble, but I've got to upgrade the braking with all this extra power. It's got to sit like that, you see. You may, uh, may recognize this caliper. <laughs> this could, uh, I could have just stolen something off the Hypermotard build. Don't worry, this is the reason I was dropping is you can get these for about 150 quid second hand, the M4 calipers. So I'll buy another for the Hyper, don't worry. Or I'll buy another to replace this, but I just want to see if this works. I don't know how this is going to affect the ABS system. Um, we'll see. Let's try it. You don't know these things until you've tried it. Oh. There we go, one brake line. There we go, installed and working. What I now need to do is go through and set like the shift light revs. So you can adjust all that on this. You can set when you want an engine temperature light to come on. It's all the default. So I've got to go through there and sort of decide when, you know, you need to really run the bike to see how hot it runs normally and then set your like maximum temp warning based on how the bike normally runs. So you know when it's running hot. Um, shift light, I, can, I don't know when these are going to come on with the shift light. Again, I think I'm going to ride it and decide when I want the shift light, what revs I want them to be set at. But it's brilliant. Really happy with that. 120 euros. Barrow Tech. Link in the description. I think it's well worth the money. Brings a lot more functionality to the display on this bike because it really is lacking. I like it. I'd buy that for $120. I'd buy that for a dollar. I now have dirty hands. I think it's the first time in the project I've actually got dirty hands. <laughs> That's how new the bike is. But now we have things removed. We have bags of bits to add to my bags of Ducati bits. <laughs> I've taken the wheels off because they're now going to be sent to SM Pro. I'm going to get the tires removed, send those wheels off to SM Pro. They're going to reuse my hubs and put some black and orange frayed outer rims on. Um, 
Yeah, so I've, what I've decided on, thanks for all your input on the colours to go for, I think I'm going to go for like a grey hub and then use that same grey in the actual graphics kit as well and go for a black, orange and grey sort of theme with the graphics kit and use the grey of the hubs. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, the front caliper, I'm going to order that new line now for the front uh, front caliper with a, with a 90 degree bend in it. So I'll send my hose off, get him to replicate it with a 90 degree bend and we'll see how that M40 caliper works. If it doesn't work, I'll put the other one back on again. But I think it'll be fine. The only issue is, you know, the ABS system, is it going to be different? Because that M4 caliper's got bigger pistons in it, so it could throw out the ABS, but we'll see how we get on with it. It's worth a try. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, as always. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next video for episode six. Mavis, anything to add? Don't forget to unsubscribe. That's what I thought. Okay, Mavis, stop. Okay, Mavis, stop.